You shall not or even attempt to purchase, sell, rent, or even give away your account. Mmm, it's an orange juice. Before we get into the serious stuff with all the Supercell bands, I want to say that I'm looking for footage for Brawl Stars. Funny moments, really crazy plays in this instance. Lukey Bear destroys Ollie All. He jukes him, jumps him, and throws the bomb. Does I don't know what he did, but I, I'm looking for crazy clips like that. If you're on iOS, you have the record function on there. If you have Android, you can use DU Recorder. If it's under 20 megabytes, you can attach it through email. If it's over 20 megabytes, you can upload it to Google Drive, or you can even upload it to YouTube and just send the link in the email. So here, Supercell says, you shall not attempt to purchase, sell, rent, or even give away your account. You can't sell it for money, you can't rent it for money, and you can't give away the account. That's very ambiguous, meaning that you can't just give it to a friend. Giving away your account, that's a little bit of a gray area. I'd imagine it's like you quit Clash Royale and you give it away to a friend, and that's a netty no-no. Another one here is you shall use your account only for non-commercial purposes. Non-commercial meaning you're not making any money off of this. So for example, there are a lot of top pushers that are going on these max accounts and they're getting paid like $1,000 to reach number one, number two, number three, all that good stuff. That is technically commercial use. And that has never been okay with Supercell. It's always been in the terms of services, but recently. They've been cracking down. Unstoppable says, I really want to set a good example, but I also need money for college. So he's doing 20 win challenges for $40 guaranteed. Clash Royale singled him out and the community had a huge uproar against this. They said, this is not cool. If you do this, your accounts and any accounts you boost will be banned. They've always had the stance, but they're starting to crack down really hard now. It's really harsh that one person was singled out, but they're setting an example. No one is going to be getting away with this. Going down the tweet, Belkin says, why don't you ban the max accounts for sharing on ladder? You want to be consistent and you don't want to be cherry picking. Belkin, he's being honest here. He felt bad that Unstoppable got singled out. So Clash Royale says, we do. Each season, the top LB accounts are checked. We ban those who have been account sharing. Nearly all of them are clean while others get anywhere from a two day to a three month ban or a perma ban. If you have some accounts that have proof that are being shared, send them their way. Just because they get a message for a single person sharing, they're not going to ban it. They need proof for that. This does not mean that they're auto banning people from DM suggestions. They have their own systems to determine if a player is breaking their terms and services, manually checking that any of the bans are justified and all that good stuff. But they're saying, please speak up if you know anyone that is violating the terms of services. Ash chimed in and said that Supercell should decide if ladder pushing is harmful, if this is even an issue, or to treat everyone the same. I'm really on Ash on this to treat everyone the same. Whether they ban nobody or they ban everybody they can't just cherry pick one of these players one by one just from one twitter or just from one youtube video it needs to be completely purged if they're going to be purging that stuff or nothing at all it should be completely fair opportunity for everyone they're saying that their priorities this year is to ensure fair play for everyone in Clash Royale. One area they're hoping to focus on is account sharing. It's been a while and they're finally doubling down on this. A lot of people are saying, oh, Greedy Cell is not doing it because they're scared of these max accounts. They're, it's going to cost them thousands of dollars. Here's a thing that a lot of people don't realize is that Supercell isn't doing it because of the money. They're a team of 15. They didn't do this in the beginning because they didn't have the systems in place for this. Not because they're, they're banning someone because they max an account and they spent thousands of dollars to max that account. There are a lot of games out there where they rely on whales and this isn't one of those games. This is one of those games where a lot of people can easily put in $5, $5, $5. And if millions of people put in $5, that is more than a $10,000 maxed account. So it is not about the money for this. Well, I 100% agree with what Supercell is doing. I don't agree with how long it took them to do this. It's three years. Their birthday was last week. Congratulations to everyone that got the email. It's been three years and they're finally putting a stop to account sharing. This is something that I wish they did on day one just so that they don't set the false pretense that it's okay to max an account to give away for someone else to push. That's the only issue I had with that was that it took so long. But now that they're doing it, I commend them for all of that. Even Octave is saying that he supports their decision. Finishing first on ladder and Clash Royale applied the terms of services fairly. So number one account is now no longer available. This looks like it might actually be a permaban. It's actually a little sad to see this happen so abruptly. I do wish that they had some grace period in this, maybe like a month warning like inside news royale or something like that but if you compare this to criminal pickpocketing 
is it okay to let them pickpocket for another month while you let them know, oh, hey, it's going to be illegal, so don't pickpocket after next month, all right? It's, it's just don't do it. It's really controversial with all that stuff. There's been a lot of discussions, especially that kind of example there. This is going to be a very controversial video. Hopefully, this is a warning to not share accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any funny, cool, crazy Brawl Stars moments, check out the links in the description down below to send me some of the footage. Thanks for watching.